Israeli settlers and politicians took part in a march to call for more Israeli settlements in the West Bank. At least 20 politicians joined the thousands of settlers as they made their way to an evacuated West Bank settlement. The march was guarded by thousands of Israeli security forces. The evacuated settlement of Yatar was built on Palestinian land in 2021. It was forced to shut down after heavy Palestinian protests. Now, top Israeli officials want to resurrect it. Israeli settlements in the West Bank are illegal under international law. And to add fuel to fire, Israeli settlers stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound on the same day and were escorted by security forces. Al-Aqsa is located in occupied East Jerusalem and is internationally recognized as part of the Palestinian territories. The compound itself is managed by a Jordanian trust and only Muslims are allowed to pray there. But the Israeli government regularly breaks with international law. Last week, Israeli forces violently beat and injured Palestinian worshippers inside the mosque. Israeli forces have killed at least three Palestinians so far this week. It's been a common theme for Israeli forces to increase their violence against Palestinians during their month of Ramadan.